Detective Comics 952, James Tinney in the fourth writing, and Christian Deuce on art. So this is continuing the League of Shadows story, and Shiva is in Gotham, and Cassie notices she's watching and confronts her. She sneaks up on her, in fact, which Shiva's not mm-hmm. expecting, because no one sneaks up on Shiva. No. Nope. And uh, they fight. It's actually really funny, because this week I actually read the first Cassandra Cain Batgirl trade. Me too, and this is oh. essentially a retelling of that. Yeah, it's very similar stuff in oh, cool. one of those issues in that first trade of that. And, uh, but yeah, so, that, so Shiva basically is pissed that Cassie is not willing to kill. Like You keep going for the, the weaker shots. Why aren't you taking the kill shots that are available to you? And she's like, I won't kill. And she's not very happy. She's disappointed by that. It's like, what has David Cain done with my daughter? Pathetic piece of shit. Or something to that effect. <laughs> and uh, she even breaks Batman's arm. Or, well, maybe not breaks, but she 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 beats yeah. Batman. She takes she Batman. Definitely down. locks it. Yeah, ba- Batman's oh, not yeah. cheery about this. He's he's down the ground. He's in pain. He's oh. making a grilly face. He's not happy. Uh, while the uh, <laughs> while the rest of the team are down the street fighting the the goons from last last week, uh, last issue. Mm-hmm. So Clayface has his cool moment with those. Oh yeah, the backup. Mm. The the more I read this by Tinian, the more I love Clayface, and I never thought I would say that. Yeah, Clovis has been cool on this. I'm liking this. Like, it is weird how, how good he's been. Yeah. Like, his put upon, they go, you know what to do. He goes, I get such a headache when we do that. <laughs> I, I, I distinctly remember before this started that we were like, oh, this team looks cool, but Clayface is a bit weird. I'm not sure, not sure I really want that. Yeah. Glad to be wrong. Yeah, no, that's, it's Well, that's why out. I said I never expected I'd say that. Him yeah. making an army you of know. clay men's pretty cool. Uh, my favourite mm-hmm. moment with him might still be the clay bat mech suit from Monster Men. That yeah, was cool. that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so we, we, ha- we have that, and we have um, them regrouping after Asriel and Batwing get taken by the League. They've been kidnapped by the Shadows. And we, we get a scene of... Uh, Duke basically concerned, like worrying and asking Batwoman about about uh, if they think Azrael and Batman are even alive, and there's some of that doubt there. Uh, has, has Duke even been in this book before? No, no, I think he's been once. Really? really? I think I, I don't think, recall uh, him. I, th- I think I remember he... the Batman Rebirth, which was a mix of the two, but I don't remember him in proper because it... he wasn't around for Monster Man, was he? He was, yeah. Okay. He was a monster man. Really? Yeah, he was. Okay. <laughs> he was concerned about Gotham Girl. He was there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, just, I don't remember him in any of these oh, particular sure. stories in, in tech alone. Uh, yeah, I'll... I don't either. Well, have... Which is why I just he, he just popped up as like, hey, you just have to... It, it assumes that you're reading the other books and you have the knowledge where usually when someone just pops up for the first time like this, it kind of introduces them a bit. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I feel, I feel like he was definitely in Monster Men, so he may have been in the Monster Men issues of Tech. Perhaps, yeah. He wasn't in all of them, I don't think, but he was definitely in some of them. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, so so Duke's there and he's whatever. Uh, but Kate goes goes and talks to her father, and her father, you know, he's like, uh, yeah, Shiva is dangerous. She could have killed me, and she didn't to make a point, but she killed like forty of my men. Uh, she's a complete psychopath. All I watched. <laughs> Like, uh, yeah. Well, I think I think I think we'd. Well, I don't know if you'll agree with me, but I think the best part of this yeah. issue is definitely Cass and her reaction to all this. Like, obviously, it yeah. cuts to her her watching the monitor, and she like starts yeah. crying because she's just heard what an evil evil person her potential she mother is, is. and uh, she's like, "Why well, did it have to be her?" And Batman gives her a hug. And uh, yeah, this, this yeah. So I don't think Batman got his arm broken because he's not in a sling. Uh, exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah. But I think it, it looks like it's just got a, it got a got him pinned down. I just had another look yeah. at it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's fair. Definitely, definitely a Kimura. He tapped for sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> no shoulder displacement there. Hmm. Uh, but no, I, I think the fight with Shiva and uh, the, the building of that cast storyline and the her reaction at the end was definitely the highlights of the issue. Other than that, it was basically just the next chapter in the story, building the threat. Here's the villain. Yeah, it's it's kind of what I feel like for me at least. This is one of the weakest issues of the series yet. It has like the, the nice moment with Cass at the end, but overall, I feel like it'll be fine in trade as part of the story. But as a standalone issue, it didn't do that much for me. Whereas 
all the time before every every other issue has given me something where I was like, oh, that was satisfying to read on its own. See, this is this is the funnest I've had reading Batman this year. So, so tell Connor to shut his goddamn mouth. Is what you're saying? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, he can he can he can disagree and he can be wrong. Because I'll say it, but. Uh, <laughs> Like, I just, it wasn't a bad issue. I'm not saying that. It's still fun. I just yeah. feel like I wasn't. Every other issue of of Detective of this run has left me feeling satisfied as its oh, own sh- chapter. Whereas this just just felt like oh, it's it's part of the story. Will you piss off with that bun? <laughs> I. So what I like is basically the League of Shadows is John Wick, right? Because anytime they get brought up, everyone's like, oh no. So like when she has a showdown with. Roz, in the beginning, there's a flashback. Yeah, there's a flash. That's just how she finds out about Caspian and Gotham. There's a flashback to Roz trying right. to like negotiate, and he's like, "Yeah, like, I'll give you the time your daughter is, then leave me yeah. alone." <laughs> but yeah, it feels like he's definitely just doesn't want to deal with them. Like he even sees their threat. And this is the dude that runs the assassins, you know. Mm. Uh, yeah, so I just I like how much of a threat they are, and they've even framed. Batman for killing the mayor, which I spaced about. I still, last... I still kind of feel that's uh-huh. a bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I'm well, buying that. Well, no, but it'll be. But it's just it's creating an unsafe place for yeah for Batman I, and I Gotham get what... because because yeah. Gordon's on lockdown. Half the cops don't trust him because he overtrusted Batman in their eyes. So I just I like that it makes it uncomfortable. And Batman's missing two members now. Also, uh, yeah. Montoya calling Kate and giving her a heads up. By the way, we've been ordered to shoot you guys on sight. So, uh, sight. Yeah. yeah. And, and this is what I like. I get what that does for the story, and I like it in itself, but I still don't really buy it. Like, last issue, you guys explained it away to me. Oh, maybe those two cops just leapt to that, but it seems like most of the cops are, are on this now, and I, I, don't, oh, I, I, think... just, I don't know if I buy it. I feel like Batman's earned did... more than trust than that. I wonder. Well, did you ever read. Did you ever read Gotham Central, Connor? I've read some of it. Yeah, so I've only read the first two books in it, whatever the, those collections are. That's exactly yeah, what I've read of it. That's trades. actually what I've read as well. Yeah, and I always just got the vibe that they tolerate Batman, but they don't necessarily like him. So the moment they can voice that he's a problem without See, Gordon get, going, no, no, no. Also, I, uh, I get that they think he's a problem, but... I don't feel like they'd jump to, yeah, he actually killed the mayor. That I, seems like an extreme jump for, to I me. Also, I also wonder if this is also manipulation from the shadows. Mm-hmm. Like that, it, that would that would satisfy me if, a lot more. Yeah, because who knows if they have people in the cops, too. Yeah, because the, 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 the whole, whole thing is they infiltrate. Yeah, the whole idea of infiltrate, and you never know it's them, because they always pin it on someone else. Maybe there is like yep. some operatives high up in the government or the police that are sort of pushing these agendas kind of thing. Okay, that would satisfy me a lot more. As it is, it just feels a little bit weird. Eh, I don't know. It, it, it stuck out to me a little bit, the reaction the last issue. And this issue, though, it was never even something that popped out of my head. It was just like, oh, they're in danger, shot in sight. I, I think it was well, just see, that, ra- that was the thing. It was the, the reaction, and then it was like everyone on the police force seemed to buy it and was like, yeah, of course Batman's a killer. I think I was just wrapped up in the fact that Renee was worried about Kate and she was Kate, born on her. Yeah. And that was, yeah. I was feeling that, was that nice. beat. I was feeling that story uh, beat. Because... And Kate's with Maggie Sawyer still, right? Is that still, or uh, not, not confirmed? Or is it Renee with Maggie? I can't. I don't know. Who's with Maggie right now? Because yeah, I remember. Because I, I remember there was a big to do about Kate being with Maggie Sawyer in the New Fifty Two, and DDO broke it up because there's the whole no no relationships. Yes. So, yeah. That's quite funny. I don't know. I never finished that Batwoman series, so I can't really speak to no, any that, great. That was quite so, early on here's in the, the thing. series. If, if they're going to tease Renee and Kate coming back together, then hot diggity damn, because that, that's a power couple of DC that I like. <laughs> I don't even know if it needs to be a they come back together. It could be like a... It could be like this mutual, like, we always care about each other, but we're never going to be, like, yeah, the, the happy couple. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, too. But, I just, but does I like they have those... a relationship of some sort? Yeah, I like yeah. that they play off of each other well because they're both they're both law and order types in their own way. Yeah, if we get it, I imagine we might get something in her solo book. Yeah, it'd be a solo yeah. book if it was going to be anywhere. I think. 
Uh, I, I can see it being what I said with the, like, kind of, we care about each other, but we're not going to ever have a happy yeah. relationship. But maybe once in a while they get vulnerable and they, like, they have sex for one night and then, they, you know, that's it for, like, two years. Right. Kind mm-hmm. of thing. And, like, I can see them having that kind of off and on again. Not re- not a real relationship, but... Yeah, they got something. Yeah. It feels like a complicated thing. Uh, mainly because Renee's... Well, they're both complicated because Kate's hardly normal, but <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Renee Renee's pretty messed up. At least they both have their issues, don't they? Yeah, yeah, both, both. Oh man, I, I just had a thought that what if they get to Nanda Parbat for this, and it's it's DC traditional Nanda Parbat. Uh huh. Yeah. And we get we get a question tease there. Oh. With the League of Shadows. Oh, right. Oh, right. To... Okay. I see where you're going. Yeah. I, I, I thought you were like, wait, why is Rene even going there, though? There's not a reason for it. Like, oh, not right. Rene. With a league, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I mean, yeah, no, okay. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't yeah. have to be Rene, is the question. As much as I love that, like, seems out of place for Rebirth. Just we can to get back to that down the line. Yeah, but, like, they have to go to Nanda Parbat, and it's, mm. you know, it's not how the Arrowverse used it, which really upset me, <laughs> where it's Roz's. <laughs> Stronghold, you know, it's this fictional city. But anyways, I just, I just, I can't think how they're going to beat the league because the league seems so powerful. If they can, you know, infiltrate and pin oh, it on other it, people. And... Well, I tell you this right now, the one-on-one fight with Shiva is going to be Cass and she's going to win. Yeah. She's going to sweep the oh, leg I would just love... and she's going to win. <laughs> I kind of wanted to, uh, to lose sweep the leg, to Cassie. see her deal with it. No, like, I, I, I feel like there's a, a there's more story potential in that. Oh sure, okay, but what what, what I really mean, I, I don't necessarily mean a clean like everything's okay, we beat the bad guys, and I I just mean the fight that's going to stop Shiva from winning whatever she's trying to do will be cast. Like even if she loses the fight, she'll stop her from achieving so, whatever. Because that's the end somehow. They're not going to yeah. Shadow's not going to win well, and take them off. I feel like the, the ending I can see is Cassie has to has to kill someone to get Shiva to stop. And she'll do it, and she'll compromise her morals just to just to save everyone else, and then and then she'll have to have a, a stern talking to from Batman. Mm. So, I don't know. I was like thinking that Kane or Kate decides that she's gonna soldier out and just puts a bullet in Shiva, like no, not to kill her. See, I, like, no, no, not... I I specifically didn't say Cassie kills Shiva just because. Yeah. They're not going to kill someone off that early in Rebirth. No, no, no. I don't need Shiva to die. It's just like, I'm not doing this hand-to-hand stuff. I'm going <laughs> to hit you like a sniper, and that's how we're going to end this. You know? And that's... Mm-hmm. I just I just like seeing Kate doing her soldier thing, too. But that's probably more of her solo book than how, how about Detective. This? How about this? Right, so Cass fights Shiva. Shiva wins. Mm-hmm. Cass is down on the ground. We think it's all over. Huh? And then we just see Clayface form from behind Shiva and then engulf her. Oh. <laughs> It's like be cool. fight this bh. Yeah. <laughs> huh? well, that'd be pretty cool. Meta humans, yeah. you can't fight that. You saw when they tried to stab him when the the League of Shadows like were those all League of Shadow members or were they all hypnotized? I think I think they were members. I feel like it was like a a, a trap. Yeah. It was a luring. Yeah, I, I figured members. It never really explained the eyes though, did it? No. Nah, maybe they're just, just like brushed but... over that. Maybe they're fancy they try to contacts stab... or something that it's like for HUDs. Like they've got HUDs built into their right. contacts and they can... Yeah. I don't know. I'm, but I'm when stretching. they try to stab Clayface and he, he grabs the sword through him, it goes, okay. <laughs> I can do this all day. Like, that was cool. Great, yeah, another great Clayface moment. Yeah. I made a clay, you idiots. Swords aren't going to yeah. work. <laughs>